Hi guys, we Merchant Gaming here, and today we're taking a look at FIFA 15. Now this game has just been released on Xbox One, PS4, PlayStation 3, and Xbox 360. It's also available on handhelds such as the 3DS and PlayStation Vita. But obviously the console versions differ, and uh, I played this version more specifically on the PS4. So FIFA is arguably the best-selling football game of all time, and it's back this year with FIFA 15, which brings another year of leagues, players, and more. Now the game hasn't really changed much over the past year. You know, it's still a good-looking game with many features of FIFA 14 available: uh, player card return, currency returns for uh, purchasing those player cards, which which come in the uh, currency of FIFA coins, and uh, Various modes also return, such as online, single player leagues, online leagues, and uh, these are all good. There are even live matches that uh, can be watched through the game, which I thought was a nice added feature. Uh, but again, doesn't really differ uh, much from its FIFA 14 uh, previous title. The game does, however, introduce 600 new player reactions. Now, this certainly helps in making the, the game more challenging more difficult, uh, you're never truly going to know uh, what's going to happen next, the game is more dynamic because of this, and it really does improve the gameplay, I found the game much more challenging, uh, which some people may get frustrated with, uh, I personally did, but again, it adds to the fun for those hardcore fans of the series. So, this game obviously isn't much of a step up, there are a few things, as I stated, that do change the game. Uh, commentators, as you can hear right now, certainly do a great job at making the game more immersive. Uh, they, they, they do often talk about interesting things to do with the teams, players, and the leagues that are happening at the same time. So they have some something interesting to say, something interesting for us to rather than repeating lines over and over again. So as I said, the AI certainly reacts quickly, and I often found myself frustrated with how poor my performance was, but overall I enjoyed FIFA 15, I think it's a grand experience. The attention to detail is clearly seen, with players looking closer than ever before to their real life counterparts. And when comparing a game to a live match on the TV, um, the cutscenes and cutouts look almost like they're, they're taken straight off of a Sky Sports match and put into the game. They really do look great, but there are some minor bugs. For one thing, the, ge the players sometimes slide across the pitch during these cutscenes uh, when you score a goal, which is kind of annoying. And uh, during one match, I actually had a player that injured himself uh, in the first half, and he kind of stayed on the floor, laid down for that entire half of the match, which is extremely annoying um, for me. So FIFA 15 is definitely worth the purchase. If you're a hardcore FIFA fan, even more so. But it isn't much of a step up from FIFA 14, so be aware. This game gets an 8 out of 10 from me. It is a solid title, uh, as all FIFA titles are. And I really do hope you enjoyed the review, guys. As always, like, comment, and subscribe. And I shall see you next time with the review. Cheers.